Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Taurus this for the second week of August 2017 and I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for returning, thank you for the support and the likes and shares. Please share these videos. I want to say to each and every person, um, please listen to your Sun, Moon and Rising and I'm so grateful for um, your support to my channel and please continue to support and um, thumbs up likes and share these videos it is the week of the lovers it's a wonderful week there's going to be emotional but yet still let's see what sort of energy is going to come out as we look at this week it's going to be positive in some aspect and in some not okay but whatever is happening um, do not worry about the first two days of the week okay there are situation that I see here that will be happening in these first weeks but do not be alarmed by them because um, the week is a week of the lovers so it's going to be emotional and energy vibration of fire you have the energy of temperance in this week and it's really a week of temperance okay whatever that is happening it's really a week of temperance so just have temperance it doesn't really matter what is happening have temperance let me look and see what is happening for you guys um let me look and see what is happening to you guys let me look and see what is happening we can see what is happening. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see what is happening for you guys. The um the number two energy, your numbers is going to be two number two energies are here there is so many situation number two number two energies are here number two energies are here there's a situation that is going on here um okay okay number two energies are here so it's going to be your number is going to be the number two wow okay let's look at your week as we move in and we look at your week we have the energy of the devil this energy of the devil has to do with the queen of cups okay so you Tauruses whatever is happening there is a situation that has to do with a, a Pisces a Cancer or a, a Scorpion whoever this woman is is, a, is someone who is between the ages of 20 and 55 whoever this woman is is between the age of 20 and 55 whoever this woman is she's carrying a very low vibration for some people because the devil bring this woman in your life for whatever reason it is it could be the energy vibration of your mom it could be the energy vibration of uh, um, an older person or it could be the energy vibration of your partner whoever this person is they are really not vibrating on the high energy vibration whatever is happening this person you need to be aware of who this person is and whenever people comes in your life try and find out what is the lesson that I need to learn from you why um, are you behaving as um, with this energy because so, there's something that is happening this is an older person and it's the energy this person carries the energy of uh, a lower energy ego base and this person wants you to do things and expect you to be there and that sort of a thing and you give them a finger and they'll take a whole hand that sort of a thing so it is someone who comes in your life and be aware of who this person because she can take on the form of anyone I'm not saying the energy that it's a man it's really a woman so be aware of who this person is because this person is not really vibrating on the high energy vibration okay as we look in Tuesday we have the energy vibration of heartbreak whatever the energy of heartbreak is we have the energy of heartbreak and the ten of wands a burden in the reverse form so this is good whatever it is 
um, the energy of the ten of ones in reverse which is extremely good because whatever the situation was you can see that this is a situation where whatever you were or broken over the burden is over and obviously the person that you had to deal with on Monday that was the energy vibration of uh, um, a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio and this has ended okay because you have the three of swords and the burden in the reverse form so whatever you had to be dealing with that you have felt as if a loss that you have felt as if the burden was on you it's now over okay this is a situation with any affects anyone who has been going through whatever situation and now whatever it is it's come to an end this is heartbreak so it's come to an end it's going to come um, to an abrupt end and as we move forward in the middle of the week you have the two of cups so this is wonderful this is extremely wonderful in the middle of the week you have the energy of the two of cups and this is wonderful so again to be positive whatever the negative situation that you had to deal with on Monday with this um, water sign person it's come to an end so this can be a relationship that you were in a relationship with a cancer I'm feeling cancer I'm just seeing cancer come up uh, or a scorpion person and it, it's now come to an end because the energy of the two of cups is here and whatever the situation was on Monday and Tuesday it's going to come to an end an abrupt end because the, the universal angels bring in this um, abrupt end of cleansing because it's the week of love and it is um, ending all the lower energies all the lower situation all the people it's removing all the people who have been vibrating on lower energy vibration in your life and if you have been doing it yourself you're going to see that you need to change okay you need to change whatever that was happening you need to make a change as we go forward we have the energy of uh, four, four, six. The nine of cups your wishes and dreams are coming true your wishes and dreams are coming true so if let's say that um, your wishes and dreams are coming true but you're not celebrating because of something that happened in the beginning of the week so let's say that you had a situation with someone and there was a loss and you felt as if the burden was off on Wednesday the cleansing came in but on Thursday your wishes and dreams are coming true but you're not really happy it's just as if you're trying to um, you know take up your head out of the water to breathe because whatever that was it was something that has you have gone through the deepest of the sea through the fire through the hurricane through the storm and now finally your wishes and dreams are coming true and you're not really celebrating but you are inside you're happy and um, you are happy for what is happening inside but yet still you can't make that celebration as how you'd like to celebrate because it's as if you have been battered um, through your entire a couple of years or to a situation you felt so battered so hit by the, the wind and now finally so there is not going to be a huge celebration you're going to understand that your wishes and dream are coming true but it's not going to be a huge celebration whatever is happening you have the energy of the five of Pentacles the five of Pentacles is here is it in reverse form so you have the energy you full as if our chip and I can understand because whenever you have gone through situations like that you feel so battered you feel so battered and you feel as if there is our chip but that's just a feelings because the energy of the Sun is here so I totally understand why you should have temperance in this week because whatever is happening whatever had happened in your life you have felt as if you were battered you have gone through so much stuff and you are feeling as if you need to come up and take air so whatever is happening even though you feel as if you're going through this hardship and this thing your wishes and dreams are coming true if they're coming true they're taken slow if you just keep positive 
you see the energy of the Sun coming out here and what the Sun energy is saying is that whatever you have been going through is coming to an end so you can come up now and breathe okay you don't have to hide anymore you can go out there you can be who you are you can um, achieve what you'd like to achieve even though the toughest and the roughest of storm know that you will come out on top once you have been positive and once you have been honest to whatever situation that is going on and I said the Sun but is it the lovers because these are so cute I love these cards because if you notice I'm always um, using them so let's see that is the Sun La Sola yeah it is the Sun I love these cards so much okay in the weekend we have the energy of the heart and the energy of the king of sword okay so whatever the situation is you have the energy of the the page of Pentacles coming towards you so the page of Pentacles is bringing something to you so whatever it is if you look at how he faces, he doesn't face that way whatever he's bringing something to you he's opening up a door for you and he's bringing something to you so for the people who are looking for work it's going to be a good week because whatever is happening there is a portal that is going to be opening up and whenever this portal open up that means the end of a situation we're in the retrograde now and it's not always good to sign contract in retrograde and that sort of a thing but sometimes um, you need to um do whatever you need to do okay and this is going to bring this is going to be a job that is going to pay very good so if you're looking for a job now is the time to go out there because in this week um, a portal a gate um, is opening up a doorway is opening up use this doorway walk through it because if you walk through this doorway this is what you will receive okay so this is a good good energy on Saturday so um, maybe on Saturday all of a sudden someone said you know um, there's a position open in my company or someone would say you know um, do you think what you think about us um, going to do business together that sort of a thing it's going to be good do it uh, do it it's going to be good so it's going to be a positive outcome and Sunday we have the energy of the king of swords okay whatever and the king of swords is coming at you on Sunday whatever the energy is this man is coming to you on Sunday and he's gonna come with words and smashing at you it could be um, the energy of a Gemini um, a Libra of a Aquarius man whoever it is is coming at you but what is happening is that you are moving with ambition and he doesn't like that and this is a sort of a jealousy form so you could be in a relationship with this person and you know you're working all the time you're trying to survive and that sort of a thing you could start seeing this person and then um, you know it's as if this person is saying yeah you have no more time for me and it could be somebody else who is coming at you and say yeah you need to do this thing you need to do that and that sort of a thing or you know they're coming at you because but whatever this person has to say listen to them you don't have to react I always you know these people are people who use their words to cut people so you need to understand that you need to learn and this is what these readings are for because they teach you how you can deal with other people and this person whoever he is is going to come at you with harsh words because he realized that you're moving away you're moving with ambition and you're moving away from him and some people do, do not like when other people are moving with ambition so be aware of whatever is happening in this situation it could be the energy vibration of some people father if your father is a king of sword you might be having a conflict because he wants you to go one way and you want to go the other way it's always happened 
between parents and kids relationship so whatever the situation is you are positively moving forward because see you're going forward and he is standing there still arguing and that sort of a thing so the best thing to do is sit listen don't disrespect but you know each and every person we're all here on our journey so okay let's look at what is happening with love in this week and remember your energy is the number two energy what is happening with love in this week in the middle of the week this week is going to be covered with love it's going to be like this covering with love love is going to be coming at you in relationships and uh, and in family and friendships love is going to be here but whatsoever happened in the first half of the week try not to make it affect you and I know it's very hard because you'll be thinking about why this person you know come at me like that and that sort of a thing whoever this person is this Queens of Cup this Pisces cancer or scorpion person you know it's a someone who is you know vibrating on a low energy vibration with the ego and the anger and the jealousy whoever she is let her be look forward okay um but Thursday is going to be a good day your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true you're going to be finding yourself but you can't laugh it's as if you have gone through so much that you forget how to laugh so what you're going to do now is you're going to try to find out a way how you can change your own energy vibration and think of you know I've been through the storm I've been through the rain but I'm, I'm, I'm now out I'm now here and this is how it's going to be okay so this is going to be good let's look at your first half of the week your first half of the week you have the energy of the Queen of Cups with the devil but at the end of that you have the page of Pentacles okay what is happening is that what is governing the first half of the week is the three of swords with the ten of ones the three of swords with a ten of one govern um, like the first half of the week which is going to be um, it's going to be well weird it's going to be extremely weird but if you look at it at this point whatever this loss is it release you of this burden okay so whatever this loss it it release you of this burden and understanding that um, when you have a loss it release you of something that mean whatever that you have lost something better is going to come and if we look at the second half of the week we have um, the energy of the five of Pentacles but yet still we have the energy of the Sun coming out and then we have uh, this king of sword which is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and whatever is happening in the second half of the week your money is going to be good whatever is happening your money is going to be good there is no question there is no answer whoever this person is and why he's screaming and coming at you it's a form of jealousy it's a form of jealousy because you're moving with ambition you're moving um, up the ladder and some people don't like that so what is crowned in your week in your uh, second half of the week it's going to be the nine of cups but you have um, the, st the stable foundation the celebration it's in the reverse because you can't celebrate yes because it's as if you you were in the the snow the water the rain and everything and now you finally come out now you can finally come up from here and you can't really celebrate because you're so beaten and worn out so the celebration you cannot come up now give it time it will come okay and um, we're going to see what other energies are here what other energies are here you have the energy of the magician so this is wonderful because you are now 
releasing certain things releasing certain aspects because it's actually a, a, a week of cleansing because you have water the emotion and also fire water and fire is always releasing cleansing rhino can you know clean and whatever that needs to let go and then at the end of the day you're going to have the energy of the magician and this energy of the magician is going to be wonderful because whatever is happening is that you're going to um, receive the gifts of, from the gods to help you with whatever situation you're going through as we go forward we are using the ascendance cards because we need to understand what is ascension so here we go the ascendance mast and retreat and this is good because you're an earth sign and i'm seeing the intergalacticans coming also up so what is it saying the ascendance masters retreat the great masters of the herd have the um, reincarnation masters their lesson and the ascendance their discipline but compassion for the understanding the challenges of being in a physical body and isn't it a challenge to be in a physical body this is an invitation to visit in your sleep the meditation those ascendance masters from whom you wish to learn in their in their retreat in the inner planes they teach their skills and knowledge to student you can absorb this at the interim level and start to bring the wisdom into your life if you feel a resonate with a particular ascendance masters ask them to guide you i walk with the ascendance masters it is so and it will be i walk with the ascendance masters it is so and it will be it is going to be a wonderful week you just need to cleanse what you no longer need and i'm saying namaste until next week like share these videos thumbs up